Hello and welcome to our introduction into the Dash Trader platform. In this video, I'll be going over the basic features and functions of the Dash Trader. The Dash is built for traders who require the speed necessary to quickly monitor, manage, and execute their trades. Most every command on this platform is designed with a point and click feature giving you the ability to quickly set up and execute your orders. What you're looking at here is our default screen layout. I'll be using this layout to showcase the different windows and its functions. As we go through the introduction, keep in mind that you have the capability to customize and position each window to create the look and feel you want in your trading platform. We'll start by going over the three most important windows on the Dash Trader, which are located in the upper left hand corner of the platform here. These windows relate to your trading account and will allow you to quickly monitor and manage your account, orders and positions. The first window is your account window. Here you'll find important information regarding your trading account. Information such as realized or unrealized gains and losses, as well as equity and buying power may be found here. Doing a right click over this window will allow you to configure your account window to include or exclude any information you wish to have displayed in your columns. Colors and background may be changed as well. Next is your positions window. Here you'll find all the positions that you're currently holding in your trading account. Long and short positions are differentiated to different colors for easy recognition. And as with all other windows on this platform, you have the capability to configure the different colors and information to give the platform the look and feel that you want. Last is your open orders window. A quick glance here will show you all the pending orders that you have working in the market. This window also gives you the ability to cancel orders with the click of an X here. As an example, we have a pending order to buy 500 shares of Intel at a price of 36. We're able to quickly cancel this order by clicking on the X. Once I click on the X, you'll see that the order disappears from the window, indicating that there are no pending orders in the market. Before we go any further, I would like to point out that each window has the capability to be moved anywhere on your platform or desktop. A left click at the upper left hand corner here allows you to drag the window anywhere on the platform. A right click gives you the option to select pop-up. This gives you the ability to place your window anywhere on your desktop. Now you're able to customize your desktop exactly the way you want. Another right click to select MDI child will bring it back into the trading platform. Again, all windows on the Dash Trader has this capability. Next window below, we have our market view. Our market view allows you to monitor the stocks on your watch list in real time. See a stock you like? Load it instantly with a simple click of the mouse and you're ready for a trade. A right click on the market view gives you additional options such as window configuration, as well as selecting from different lists of quotes like the day's top list, or our high low ticker, which we'll cover a little later in this video. Selecting user defined lists will take you back to your custom made watch list. Down below is our charting window. Dash charting comes with many different features for you to create and customize your own charts. Preset buttons are conveniently located at the gray bar on top, enabling you to change the parameters of your charts with the click of a mouse. These presets highlighted here allow you to change quickly from a daily to an intraday chart. Here we're clicking on the 5 to change it from a daily to an intraday 5 minute chart. You also have presets available for you to add or remove different types of trend lines to help you with analyzing your charts. You also have presets here which allow you to add or remove grid lines depending on what suits your preference. And these presets highlighted here allows you to zoom in and out of your chart to your desired view. Or if you prefer, DAS also allows you to bring in more data to your charts by moving your mouse over to the left edge and doing a left click. Thereafter, you may use the up and down arrows on your keyboard to adjust it to the optimum zoom level. Besides your preset options, you do have other ways to configure your charts. Notice that this chart is divided into two separate areas. Double clicking in the top area will bring up a study configuration window, allowing you to change the chart studies in that section or to select from a wide range of other indicators. You may add additional indicators to that chart section or add additional chart areas by utilizing the right click options. Once you've added your new area, simply double click in it to add in your indicators. Adjusting the size of each area is done by moving your mouse between each section, then performing a click and drag to adjust the size of your area, giving it the precise look and feel you want. Removing the section is done through the right click option. And as a reminder, our right click menu offers our configure option to change the colors and look of your charts. Over to the right, we have our trading window. This is where you'll be viewing your level two quotes and setting and placing your trades. The trading window, or trading montage as some refer to it as, is divided into three main sections. Level 1, Level 2, and the order box. 
The top section shows the level 1 information on the stock. You have your stock symbol here, followed by various level 1 information such as the day's range, previous close, volume, and bid and ask. The S located here indicates that the stock is on the short list. The red anchor is what you'll use to link your trading montage to a chart or time in sales window. For example, if I wanted this chart here to reflect the stock loaded in my trading window, I would simply click on the red anchor and drag it onto the chart. Now you can see that the chart has changed to reflect the same stock loaded in my trading window. The next section of your trading montage is where you'll find your level 2 quotes. A right click in this section will give you a wide range of options to customize the information and look of your quotes. The third section is your order box. This is where you'll set up and send your orders. The first thing I would like to point out is this question mark. Use this question mark if you ever need clarification on a particular box and what it's used for. One click on the question mark and a subsequent click on the box in question will produce the description. Before we go over the rest of the order box, I'm going to load the stock into our trading window which we have a position in to help us illustrate the components of setting up an order. Here, I'm loading our position in Cisco. Our first box here is the volume box. Enter your amount by manually typing it in or use the up and down arrows to adjust the volume of your order. This P next to the volume box stands for position. Pressing the P will automatically load the number of shares you have in this particular stock. Note in our positions window we have 2,000 shares of Cisco. Pressing the P will automatically change your volume to 2,000, the number of shares we're holding. Next box is for reserve orders. Use this box to enter the amount of shares you wish to have displayed in the market. Next is where you enter your price for your order. The different ways you may enter the price, you may enter it manually by typing it in, or you may click directly on the level 2 to enter your price. Adjusting the price up and down using the arrows here is also an option. The TMP button is used to load in preset trade parameters you have designated in your template or default order. A right click over the TMP button will allow you to configure your default parameters. The lock here allows you to lock your order box prohibiting any orders from being sent from this window. One click and the lock turns red indicating a lock order box and another click releases the lock and allows you to resume sending orders. The first field down below is where you'll set your route. Limit, market, and stop are your auto routes followed by specific routes which you may choose from. The next box over is your preference box. Depending on which route you select you find different trade preferences to choose from depending on what that specific route has to offer. Next is where you'll select your time and force, followed by any conditions you wish you place on your order. And if you do manage multiple accounts, you'll be able to select which account you wish to trade from by using the drop-down menu here. And finally, the buttons below are used to send, cancel, or replace your order. To help illustrate what it's like to place a trade, I'm going to send an order to sell 2,000 shares of Cisco at a price of $27.76. With my parameters set above, I'm ready to place the order by pressing sell. Note that my pending order now shows up in my open orders window. If I wanted to change the price of the order I just sent to $27.73, I could just adjust my price here and click on the RPL button to replace my previous order. Now in my open orders window, my order reflects the new price of $27.73. Clicking on the CXL button here will allow me to cancel my order. DAS also has a wide range of useful trading features like our various stops, OCO, and trigger orders. Please see our DAS Trader Tips video on trading for detailed examples on how to use these great features. Next is our news feed option. Browse through all the news that comes out or use the right click to filter through the ones pertaining to just your stock. Right click on the symbol and you're ready for a trade. Moving to the upper right on our default screen is our day's top list. Here you'll find a consolidated list of the biggest movers of the day in one window. And finally over to the left is our high low ticker. This window scans the markets for stocks hitting new lows or highs on the day. A right click over this window will allow you to set parameters for your filter to help identify the types of stocks you wish to trade. The DAS platform is loaded with many other tools to satisfy a wide spectrum of traders ranging from the casual to the institutional. Tools such as alerts and triggers, basket orders and hotkeys are all available through our drop-down menu located at the top of the platform. You'll also find tools for options and futures as well as administrative features there as well. Thank you for joining us on this introduction into the Dash Trader. 
Please join us on our other videos as we go into more detail on how you can utilize the Dash Trader to fulfill your trading needs. Once again, thank you for joining us.